In this episode, we'll look at the go-around rejected landing procedure in the Piper Warrior. A go-around should be initiated any time during the approach when it is deemed unsafe to continue to a landing. In general, the earlier the decision is made to reject the landing, the better. One of the most important aspects of a successful go-around is committing to the decision to terminate the landing and not second-guessing yourself. There is no shame associated with a go-around. In fact, it is a sign of a disciplined pilot who knows how to properly manage risk. There are many reasons to reject a landing, but some typical examples include conflicting traffic, a faulty landing, a system malfunction, hazardous weather such as wind shear, or an approach that is not stabilized by 200 feet above the ground. In order for an approach to be considered stabilized, all of the following conditions must be met. The aircraft is at the proper height for a normal descent to landing in the runway touchdown zone. The aircraft is aligned with the runway centerline the airspeed is within plus 10 knots to minus 5 knots of the target approach speed. The aircraft is properly configured for landing, meaning the final flaps have been set, and the before landing checklist has been completed. Any single condition that has not been met by 200 feet above the ground is cause for an immediate go around. Once the decision is made to reject the approach or landing, the pilot should smoothly advance the throttle to full power while pitching the nose up sufficiently to arrest the sink rate and transition to a climb. Care should be taken to avoid a pitch rate and or attitude that is too excessive and could result in a stall. The flap retraction schedule demands close attention and will depend on the flap position as the go-around is initiated. If the flaps were at 40 degrees, the pilot should immediately retract the flaps to 25 degrees after applying full power and adjusting the pitch for climb. Avoid accidentally selecting flaps 10, or even worse, flaps 0, as retracting the flaps too much, too quickly, could cause a stall or loss of lift resulting in ground contact. If the flaps were set to 25 degrees or less when the rejected landing was started, simply leave them where they are. The Cherokee is designed to take off and climb with flap settings up to 25 degrees. The primary goal during this first phase of the go-around is to maintain positive aircraft control while configuring for a climb. The procedure should be deliberate and methodical, but not rushed unnecessarily. If the cause of the rejected landing was a traffic conflict on the runway, then the pilot should offset the aircraft's flight path to one side of the runway so the conflicting traffic can be monitored throughout the climb-out. Unless the situation dictates otherwise, a sidestep maneuver to the right of the runway gives the left seat pilot the best view of the traffic. If the go-around was initiated for some other reason other than traffic on the runway, then the pilot can continue straight ahead on the go-around. Climbing through 200 feet AGL on the go-around, the pilot can retract the flaps to 10 degrees once a safe airspeed is attained, of at least 65 knots. The aircraft should then be trimmed out for a climb at VY best rate of climb, or VX, best angle of climb, as appropriate. VY is typically used, but VX should be flown if an obstacle needs to be avoided. Once the aircraft is configured for the climb and at a safe airspeed, a radio call should be made announcing the go-around. One common error I see is pilots trying to communicate too early in the procedure. Keep in mind that at a towered airport, you can expect the tower to issue you further instructions once you announce the go-around. This is a distraction you do not need to be dealing with as you are reconfiguring the aircraft close to the ground. At this point, a normal climb profile can be resumed with final flap retraction made at 500 feet AGL. Okay, let's head out to the airplane to see an example of a go-around. Our rejected landing takes place on approach to runway 27 at Palatka Municipal Airport. The maneuver is initiated at about 100 feet above the ground and is due to simulated scenario in which an aircraft is taxied onto the landing runway. We're going to go around. Traffic not Full power. Pitch. Flaps 25. Airplane is on the runway. We're going to offset to the right. 200 feet, airspeed safe, flaps 10, we'll announce. Palatka traffic, Cherokee 2897 Mike, going around runway 27, sidestepping to the north, Palatka. Like a normal takeoff after this. Flaps retracted, retrimmed, you have the flight controls. I have the flight controls. You have the controls, that's it. 